Yo, what is good, Rain team? I'm RJ West, and I am back for an updated NBA 2K17 slider set. And a shout out to Arios, because uh, these are the sliders that I basically use. I'll probably be using somebody else for next year, since it seems like his return to his main channel is up for a question. But also, that Michigan fan on Operation Sports does a pretty good job with sliders as well. And so check him out on operationsports.com but I didn't use a set in this one and so I have my leak sliders up on your screen right now and this is basically what I roll with because well I just feel that these things are more realistic and um, I turn shooting type to user timing it could really work with real player percentage it might even work better with real player percentage but I'm doing user timing for right now. I might change it because that might be more realistic. And uh, yeah, we'll see on that. I think I actually will do that. But so far, things are looking the way that they are supposed to. And um, also, for those of you who are kind of curious, I haven't really, I don't know. I haven't really, what was I? There's, what is it? Now, there's no difficulty when you change the sliders. I'm sure you got this by now, but there's no difficulty when you change the sliders. So now I'm just going to talk about this set at this point. And so when we talk about this set, I've been getting some good balance games. And so the gameplay that you'll see in this background is a Portland Trail Blazers My League that I did for fun on my own time. And, um... It's a good balance game. It was just it was a good balance game for what I was I only played for a brief like the first quarter basically. I'm not gonna show the whole thing, but I only played for that long and it just gives you players playing to their ratings instead of going over the top. And then also a big problem this year is the computer AI the AI system, the defense is not very good, so we had to turn up some of the defensive awareness sliders and also I had to turn up a bit of the offensive ratings or the oh, not the attributes, not the um, the offensive sliders in this one compared to what Arios ran or ran. I should say I had to turn some of these like the Duncan traffic success and the alley oop success the contact shot success I had to turn those up a bit especially the Duncan traffic success because in real life you won't see the dunks smoked like you do in this game and so when we take a look at that it's you don't see a lot of dunks in this game like you would like if you do the pick and roll you don't see a lot of dunks because the AI system is a lot better and um, the gameplay is just better with this set and uh, the one that I use in my Bulls, my league, isn't as good as this one. This one's way better because it has a better computer AI system. And it has a better, I would say, a more accurate representation of a real basket of what a real basketball game would be like. So now you see right here, Jason Tatum, little N1 going up to work against Wilson Chandler. It's a mid-range mastery. And uh, you guess that one to go. But then you see the fact that... Some players are better than others defensively and also offensively. And then you see what guys can do, whether it's their attributes or, you know, like shooting, taking it to the hoop, whatnot. But also, it will take a look. It will separate the good from the bad and from the average and from the great and from the horrible. So it will separate all those for you. And uh, this set, it really works well for me. I mean, these might be not complete for you because I mean everybody's different but for what I use this seems like a realistic set because it gives you a better accurate representation of basketball you won't be seeing too many dunks in a basket in a typical basketball game you won't be seeing a lot of dunks that's what you would see in my bulls like guys at the rim like at least you see at least like I would say 10 to 12 15 dunks in my games and you see that right there some weird things will happen in games and from time and time from time to time you might see some 
people, some teams have a dunk fest, but it doesn't happen like every game. So like in my Bulls, my league, the pick and rolls just broke down the defense and uh, it just really wasn't that good. So upgrading the, the defensive awareness and also downgrading the dunks, the dunk, I would say frequency would help out with that. So basically just these slider sets give a better accurate presentation of basketball. I know I've sounded repetitive this whole video, but these are my sliders and thank you for watching and I will see you in my Madden 17 sliders update.